I want to share the most simple adjustment you can make to significantly increase your visibility in ChatGPT. It has to do with how you title your blog post. So as you might know, the title of your page is the most important factor in SEO, and it's no different with large language models. And when I say the title, I mean both the meta title and what's called the H1, or the visible title on the page. The most important factor for ranking is that that title matches what someone's searching for as closely as possible. Now, when someone's searching inside of ChatGPT or Google's AI mode, it's not about matching the person's prompt. Rather, after someone enters the prompt, the AI is going to break that down into a series of specific searches. For you to be recommended by the large language model, your title needs to match those searches as closely as possible. And here's the thing, large language models don't search the same way humans do. And so there's a ton of available data around the terms that humans use in search engines, which is why the most common terms are very competitive. But there's very little data around the terms that large language models are using. And because large language models tend to use different terms than humans, there are a bunch of new terms that are being searched more and more often with very little competition. So right now we're just at the beginning of understanding what those terms are, but I wanted to share one specific example with you. It's a stupid, simple adjustment, and then I'll share a bonus tip. Large language models are much more likely to append the year to the end of their search query. So if you ask a large language model for any kind of data or recommendation, it'll almost always put a year at the end of the query. For example, if you're in Jacksonville, Florida, and you ask how much lawn care costs, it'll search something like cost of lawn care in Jacksonville, Florida, 2025. So if you want that large language model to find your website and recommend your lawn care business, you should have a blog post called cost of lawn care in Jacksonville, Florida, 2025. And then make sure in that article where you specify the cost, you're also recommending your business. Now, as any SEO can tell you, this isn't a new tactic. Including the year in your title has always been good for click-through rate. It's just much more effective in large language models. And so we've now been adding the year on posts that we typically wouldn't add years to. And now for that bonus tip, of course, this means at the end of 2025, you're going to want to update that to 2026. It's tempting to just do a find and replace and replace all 2025s with 2026. And for lower priority posts, that's probably sufficient. However, both Google and large language models reward fresh content. And you actually don't have to change that much before the search engines consider the content fresh. So for high potential posts, I do recommend updating a few data points or just one paragraph at the same time that you update the year. 